so what you're noticing here, one of my dealers came and installed one of the power savers. And what he did is he ran the power into the disconnect box. And you'll notice the line side is here. Okay, and on this line side is here. You notice the wires coming up. The blue ones going up to the top. The low side is here, which goes down into this gray tube and then runs inside the air conditioner. What he has, he has this hooked up to the line side of the disconnect, which means it's hot all the time. If you're right here at the air conditioner, that's... I'm going to be bold and say it's kind of stupid. What you want to do is you want to pull off the cover off the side here, get inside of the contactor and hook it up inside the contactor. That's your best, that's your best route. That's how it's going to give you the best results. So what I want to show you is we've got the wire coming in, we've got a hole down here, everything fits. Um, we got your two red lines coming in. Wait for that truck to pass. Okay, we got your two red lines coming in. These are your two load sides of your contactor. This is going to the compressor. This is going to go to your energy saver. I'm going to show you a before and after on what it actually does for the amps. Okay, good. So when you measure your amps, understand this is the load side. It's connected right here. It's going to go all the way down to the load side. If you grab this with an amp meter, you will not see a change at all. You have to measure here or over here at the disconnect, which is where we're going to measure. You have to measure upstream from the incoming power or you will not see an amp change. When you hook the power saver up and you get absolutely no change, it's because you're measuring too far downstream. You need to go up ahead of it. Okay, so when the, notice when the air conditioner starts up, there's what's called inrush current. It's going to start kind of high. Just give it a second, let it level out, get to where it's normally going to sit. Looks like it's pretty stable between about 14.05 and 14.15. So just give it a little bit of time here, make sure it's totally fully settled out. Okay, so you can't see what I'm doing on this side of the air conditioner, but I'm basically, have, right now I have the power saver disconnected. This is just the baseline. This is what you do first. You test to see what you have first with no correction at all. And you're in the very, very low 14s. So I'm going to reach over here and connect the power saver and let's see what happens. And now that it's connected, you see it drops to 13.3. Uh, it's almost one amp drop, plus or minus. Disconnect it. And back up it goes. Connect it again. This is what correction looks like. Now if I were to start out with a baseline of 13.8, 13.9, and I hook it up and it goes up to 14.5 or 15, that means the box is too big. You need to go with a smaller box. That's over correction. Okay, so I'm gonna try each of the three boxes. This is 1200, and we go from 13.8 to 13.3. Take that off. Let's go with the 1100, and we're back at 13.8. Now it drops to 13.2. Take that back off. Now we'll go with the 50 amp. 13.8 down to 13.4. So, so far, the 1100 has given us the best results. That's the one we would leave and use. Now, remember, you're measuring amps here. Amps will change here. Amps will change over at the meter. Watts will not change here. The watts will change over at the meter. 